Number 21 then, the first one from section B of paper one of the 2015 old hire. Show that this is a factor of this expression and hence factorise it fully. Well, you're going to use your synthetic division here. So putting down your synthetic division table and all the terms are there, that's one, negative six, nine, negative four. And if that's a factor, you'll be putting one through it. That could have been a root. So add it down, multiply it up, add it down, multiply it up, add it down, multiply it up, add it down, and you get a zero. Now you're treating it as a synthetic division, so you can see quite safely that the remainder is zero, so x minus one is a factor. Factorize it fully. I'll just pop it down. That means that that is equal to x minus one times, and that was the quotient there, the number of times it went in, and that means you've got x squared minus 5x plus 4. Now it's up to you just to do this little quadratic yourself. It must be x times x, and this says multiply to give 4 and add to give 5, that's 1 and 4. The negative goes to the larger, that says they're both the same, so there you are. Unless you wanted to just emphasise the fact that that was repeated there. Now part B, and this is where this graph comes in. Find the equation of the tangent to this curve at the point A, which is at 1 3, so what's the equation of this line here? Well, that means I've got the equation for the coordinates, so I'll need to differentiate it to get the equation of the gradients. So that'll be 3x squared multiplying by the power 12x. That'll just be the coefficient of the linear term. Now I can work out the gradient at the point when x is 1. So if x is 1, that means the gradient will be 3 times, well it's just the x, so it'll just be 1, so it'll just be 3 minus 12 plus 11. Ah, I've started here. Uh, times 1 plus 11. So that's going to be 2. The gradient is 2. I don't need to put it back into this to find the y-coordinate because it tells me it's 3. So now I can get my tangent. So the tangent's going to be y minus the y-coordinate, which is 3, is the gradient times x minus the x-coordinate, which is 1. So y equals 2x minus 2 plus 3 is plus 1. Part 2. Hence find the coordinates of B, the point of intersection of this tangent with the curve. Well, where does this cut that, in other words, for part 2? So I'm looking for intersection, so substitute, or substitute 1 in 2. That's why you wanted it in this form. Probably for the first part, leaving it like that would have got you the mark, but you need it this way to substitute it in. So substituting that into this would give you... I've actually written 2 into 1, but I'm going to cheat and write it the other way around. 6x squared plus 11x minus 3 equals 2x plus 1. I'll just change that. You probably don't even put any statements down anyway. So bring that over. Nothing affects these two terms, so that becomes plus, and that will dock that down to a 9 when you subtract 2, and that makes that a minus 4 equals 0. And lo and behold, that's what you had in part A. To solve that, I would have to factorise it. I've done that already. That's x minus 1 squared times x minus 4 squared. And the interpretation of the results are, there's a double root. x equals 1 is point A, because it's a double root, which means x equals 4 is point B. So the y of point B is going to be, put it back into this equation, 2 times 4 plus 1 is 9. So B is the point 4, 9. Maybe you could also say it's a double root, but you can see the x coordinates 1, so that was that part anyway. Without that information, you'd have identified it anyway, because the double root would be a tangent, and a single root would be a clean cut.